Today we're going over using templates to quickly populate the deck of your aircraft carrier. We'll be making use of Lua template files that I've created to spawn aircraft in. We can also dynamically create or delete these templates during the mission, allowing you to change the deck layout mid-mission. This enables us, for example, to have a blocked deck when the mission starts, to having an angled deck cleared, and aircraft lined up on the front catapults when you return bringing the deck to life, instead of being static for the whole mission. I'll also show you how to create your own templates. This will require a little meddling in both Lua and the mission files, so I would recommend it to only those who are comfortable doing so. Let's start by going over what templates I've included. I've made a series that cover basic setups for 4, 8 and 16 aircraft spawns, along with some extras for aircraft parked on the Fantail and across catapults 1 and 2. Each template is broken up into two pieces, the main clear deck variant and block decked extras. The block decked file has aircraft blocking the taxi path for landing AI aircraft. For takeoff you can use both clear deck and block deck together, however when recovering AI aircraft you need to delete the blocked deck to ensure that the AI can safely taxi to their parking spots. Each template includes the Lua files required to delete just the aircraft blocking the deck, or all the aircraft from that template. There are also some example Lua files for helping you create your own templates. With that we will set up a mission, making use of the 8 aircraft spawn template. You will need to download my template pack from the ED user files, I've provided a link in the description for you. I suggest you extract the archive into the folder of your saved games, DCS, missions, for easy access. You can use any map or existing mission for this. Open your mission and place your aircraft carrier within said mission. Click the little question mark to see the unit ID and make note of this as we'll need it later. Next we'll open up the triggers menu. Add a new trigger, select mission start and give it a name. We do not need any conditions, so we will add an action, new, action, set flag value, and we will set it to flag 404 and its value to match that of the ID of your carrier. Afterwards we'll add a new action, do script file, and we'll select the super carrier 8 spawns clear lure file. We'll also add the blocking spawns from this template. And the mass launch aft Tomcats. Lastly we will save our mission. Now when we run the mission we'll see it starts with our selected templates. We picked the 8 spawns template so we have room to spawn up to 8 active aircraft so let's put them in quickly now. Because we've blocked the landing taxi area and the angled flight deck we'll want to remove these before we recover aircraft. For this example we will wait 9 minutes but you can set this however you like. We'll make a new trigger, type once, name it, and set the time more condition for 9 minutes. This is measured in seconds, so 60 times 9 is 540. Now we'll run the script files to remove the blocking aircraft from our template. Do script file, remove mass launched statics, and do script file, remove 8 template blocking statics for AI landings. Lastly we'll add some aircraft that have already been recovered to the front of our ship. Do script file mass recovery cat1 tomcats and do script file mass recovery cat2 hornets. So with that set our AI aircraft can recover safely after taking off. Now let's look at this in action. I'd recommend you set the time you change your deck layout to some point whilst the player group is either travelling to the target area or back home. It may produce a small freeze in multiplayer when this happens, so it is best to avoid doing it during combat. 
Let's now look at making your own templates. First, create a new mission, place our ship and the static objects you desire onto it. I'd recommend you name these based on the location and type for easier reference later. If you look at the supercarrier manual towards the end after page 81, you will find helpful images detailing the safe area for static objects with various numbers of active aircraft spawning or landing. Once we're done, we'll save our mission file and open up the units list and sort in descending order of unit IDs. Now comes the fiddly bit. Back in Windows, we need to open up the missions folder found in our saved games. Navigate to templates, scripts, and create your own. Create yourself a new .lua file with your preferred editor. Personally, I use brackets. Make sure it's saved somewhere easy to find within your saved games DCS missions folder. Now we'll open up the example file in scripts. Create your own. Lastly, we need to get the information directly from our mission file that we saved earlier. Navigate back to where you saved the mission. MIS files are essentially archive folders. We can open them up with software like WinRAR or 7-Zip. We'll then open the mission file with any text reading program. Here we are now looking at the guts of what defines a mission. We'll need to locate the specific static objects we want to spawn within our template. The easiest way to do this is to press Ctrl F and search for the specific unit's ID, which we can reference from the DCS editor. We'll type in square bracket unit ID, close square bracket equals, and then the unit's ID. Press enter, and we should be taken to the unit in question. Now we need to set up our new template Lua file. Copy and paste the code from the example into our new template. We need to replace the information in this top section with the details of our desired unit. We'll find all this information above the unit ID in the mission file. Select it all, and then copy, and paste it over the information present in the example. Do not forget to set a new name from the top, give it a specific prefix if you wish to delete it later with another script. We've now made a script spawn a copy of the object. All we have to do is repeat the process until you've gone through all your objects. Simply scroll downwards inside the mission file until you find the next unit ID you're after, or do another search. You can scroll through the units list if needed by simply mousing over the list and scrolling whilst you're doing this. Reference your unit list in the editor to confirm, and then copy and paste the code inside your template file and then paste in the new information. Once we're done copying new static objects, save the new template file. We'll now quickly create another Lua file to delete these objects later. Open the create your own folder again, and then we'll copy the remove all objects with specific prefix Lua, paste it into our new templates folder, and next we'll open it and change it to delete anything with the prefix example as we set up prior. We're now ready to use it, so let's get back in the editor. We can set up a new mission and spawn these units. Just like before, we can set up editor triggers and we're ready to see if this works. This time I will spawn the units in at 5 seconds and delete them at 15 seconds. So now we know how to make a basic template. By making use of spawning and removing these templates in-game, we can help bring the deck to life further in your missions. I hope you enjoyed, happy mission making, and take care.